Hey, are you one of those persons that has a lot of problems with flying on airplanes? Do your ears really block up and, and make it difficult, if not impossible, to fly? If so, it's really not that uncommon. There are a lot of things that you can do to help out, and I want to discuss some of those things. Uh, before you fly, uh, a couple things that you might want to get. Number one, Afrin decongestant nose spray. You'll be using that, and we'll tell you how. Number two, if you can take it, if you don't have high blood pressure or any cardiac problems, get some Sudafed or Mucinex D, an oral decongestant. Now, first of all, you got to make sure that you don't have high blood pressure that's poorly controlled or any cardiac issues that would keep you from being able to take that. Uh, the next thing that you can get are these little things called ear planes. A lot of different places sell them. We usually have them in our office as well. They're a really nice adjunct to the stuff that we're going to talk about. Put them in your ear before you take off. If it's a really, really long flight, you can take them off mid-flight. Otherwise, leave them in until you're already touched down. Okay. So what happens and why do you get the problem? Well, the air pressure in that cabin is changing really, really rapidly. You're basically going from sea level to Denver, Colorado, within sometimes seconds, okay? So as you're going up, what do you wanna do? Well, first of all, before you ascend, spray that Afrin decongestant nose spray in. Lean down a little bit, aim a bit to the outside, look at our other video on how to use nasal sprays and follow those directions. If you're taking an oral decongestant, you'd wanna get that on at least 30 minutes to an hour before the flight as well, okay? And if you're using your earplanes, pop those in as you're taxiing before you ever take off. So as you're going up, the air pressure in the cabin is dropping really rapidly. So the air that's behind your eardrum is trying to push out, okay? The only way that air pressure, unless you have tubes in your ears, can change is by the eustachian tube, which is that little tube that connects the ear to the back of your nose. So what you want to do as you're going up and you've done these other things with your afferent and your oral decongestant and your ear planes is pump air out of that middle ear space by doing what's called Toynbee. So what you want to do, pinch your nose, close it off completely and swallow multiple times. If you want to be chewing some gum, that's fine too. That can help open and close that eustachian tube because it does have muscles around it that'll work, okay? But the Toynbee maneuver is what you want to be doing as you're going up. Frequently, pinch your nose and swallow over and over, okay? So say you've leveled out. Um, most people have a harder time on the descent. So if you're one of those persons, what you want to do is, once again, before that plane starts to descend, really, I mean, when you can feel it leveling out or if you're watching, make sure and redo your afferent decongestant nasal spray. If you're on a really, really long, say, an intercontinental flight, you may want to redo the oral decongestants, but usually you won't have to do that. If it was a long flight and you took your earplanes out, put them back in. You only get a few uses out of these though, okay? Um, but what you wanna do as the airplane is descending, this is when most people have problems. What's going on is that pressure is increasing, so it's pushing in on your own eardrum. So what you're trying to do is get air going in there to push it out. Okay, that's the opposite maneuver now. What you wanna do is called Valsalva. Pinch your nose, gently blow. The key is not to do it really, really hard because you can rupture your eardrum or cause other worse problems. So as you're descending, you've done your other things, pinch your nose, gently blow over and over and over. And once you're safely on the ground, you can usually stop what you're doing. If you're chewing gum or whatever, you can stop doing that. Pop those earplanes out and enjoy the rest of your day. I hope this helps. I hope you don't have problems. If you're somebody that does this routinely, follows all these maneuvers and still has problems, there are things luckily that we can do. Number one, just like kids have, you can put adults uh, uh, tubes in adults' eardrums. That works really, really well. I have a number of people who either fly a lot or who work for the airline industry, 
pilots, flight attendants, etc. And they just can't do their job without having tubes in the ears, and that's fine. The other thing is we now have something called eustachian tube dilation, which is an in-office procedure that we can do uh, where we put a small balloon through the nose into that eustachian tube, blow it up for two minutes, deflate it, take it out. And sometimes that can be just enough uh, of an edge to keep people from getting significant ear pain and pressure with flying. Hopefully you're one of those persons that can follow the instructions and do really, really well. Thanks.